I appreciate your being here this morning. Mrs. Kennedy is organizing herself. It takes longer. <laughs> but of course she looks better than we do when she does it. But we appreciate your welcome. This city has been a great western city. We understand there has been a shooting. The presidential car coming up now. We know it's the presidential car. You can see Mrs. Kennedy's pink suit. There's a Secret Service man, Spread Eagle, over the top of the car. We understand Governor and Mrs. Connolly are in the car with President and Mrs. Kennedy. We can't see who has been hit, if anybody's been hit, but apparently something is wrong here. Something is terribly wrong. I'm in behind the motorcade trying to follow them. It looks as though they're going to Parkland Hospital. Governor Connolly was shot in the upper left chest, and the first unconfirmed reports say the president was hit in the head. There's only one word to describe the picture here, and that's grief, and much of it. It's official, as of just a few moments ago. The President of the United States is dead. We're here at the Texas School Book Depository, where the area being completely roped off by Dallas Police, the canine units here at the scene. They have little doubt that 24-year-old Lee Oswald of Dallas is the man who shot and killed Dallas Police Officer J.D. Tippett shortly after President Kennedy was shot to death this afternoon. These people have given me a hearing without legal representation or anything. Did you shoot the president? I didn't shoot anybody, no, sir. This is a sad time for all people. We have suffered a loss that cannot be weighed. For me, it is a deep personal tragedy. I know that the world shares the sorrow that Mrs. Kennedy and her family bear. I will do my best. That is all I can do. I ask for your help and God's.